Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. 4.30, Apple Learnings. Action! It is better to believe that than to disbelieve. And in doing so, bring everything to the realm of possibility. Albert Einstein. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. Dow Industrials up 13, Nasdaq down 7, S&P's up 5.5, gold contract up $3.60, trading at 1,243 an ounce. Silver up 10 cents at $17.11 an ounce. Platinum down 4 bucks at 1,011 an ounce. Copper flat at 224 a pound. Light sweet crude up a buck 37, trading at 44 dollars and 2 pennies a barrel bonds. The 10 year note down 8 ticks, 129.03. 30 year bond down 27 ticks, 161.03. Now, tomorrow, 2 o'clock, you get the Federal Reserve statement coming out. Bottom line, what that's going to be all about is, of course, is rates. The way it, uh, that market is looking right now, uh, it looks like no rate hike. There's no news conference. I expect no rate hike either. King dollar, King dollar down 246 ticks, trading at 94.55. You get the euro up 19 at a dollar 12, and the yen up 21 at a dollar 11. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. You gotta love it, folks. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so cash S and P got to a high out here today of. 2096. We are at 2090. You failed on price and you failed on volume. So it looks like we get a small ABC structure on the way down, which is pretty cool here. So because we're going to really get our information at 430, uh, because what you will have, Apple will move these markets around. So on this ABC down, your A point on this is 2111. Your B point is uh, 2077, so you're talking about what, 23, 33, 34 points. That gives you uh, 4 to 2064, 2064. And right now we're 2090, 2064, this is going to be cool watching this shake out. 2064 brings you down to the high of the 12th of April, or uh, the low of the uh, 13th of April. So we'll see where that shakes out, but that's what that's set up right now. NDX 100, the three Qs, and of course, inside the NDX 100, Apple's a large waiting structure. What do we do out here today? Well, you have light volume. Um, the low of Monday was $108.12. Well, we hit the $108.12, it's just laying there, you know. Uh, we'll see where this shakes out at 430. My, my take, because if we do go over to Apple, my take on Apple is this. Apple right now is trading at $104.35. It looks to me like it's going to get into the $100 to $96 level. Where I'm going with the $100 is this. The $100 is the high of the March 1st level. The $96 is the high of the January 27th level. But both of those, uh, and, and what we also have here is we have a high volume low that was established out here on January 28th. So that high volume low wants to get tested. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Let's take a look at gold. And, you know, we're going to, you, you talk about some uh, divergence out here. There's going to, this is going to be big action here uh, because of the dollar. So gold today had a price spread of $1,232 to 1246 We did 141,000 contracts, which is great contracts. So bottom line, gold is still continuing to build cars to get up into the 1287 and very well over that 1287. So bottom line is that this very well could be a monster ABC structure on the way up. Big numbers. The notes. Let's go take a look at the notes. So the notes, you know, the 10-year note right now, folks, we did a million contracts. Sorry, folks, excuse me. A million contracts. We're at 129.04. The high volume swing low out here is 128.01. It's going to go after that 128.01. The real kicker is, does it go after it tomorrow? More than likely, it's going to go after it tomorrow. And so, 
with the notes going after that tomorrow, that would be saying that it's going to be a dovish statement. So we'll see how that shakes out. King dollar. What do we have with king dollar? Bottom line with king dollar, what you have is this. King dollar traded down to 94.15. King dollar had 21,000 contracts. Now here's divergence, and this is what it is. You know, my longer term take, meaning, you know, even a couple weeks, is that King Dollar wants to go to 92.50. That being said, well, you know, King Dollar today came down to 94.15. It was coming into a price point from the 21st. The 21st, we had 44,000 contracts. We only did 21,000. So what did that do? That come down, rejected lower price, had lighter volume. Guess what? Can't bust them down. King Dollar's going to try to go topside again at 95.18, and where the divergence comes in that is this. The divergence comes into the aspect that gold looks like it wants higher. That's in the higher range. That has the volume. The dollar looks like it just rejected the lower price. That's saying, hey, that wants higher. We know how this shakes out. Lower dollar, higher commodities, lower dollar, higher metals. 30-year bond. Let's go take a look at the 30-year bond because the rates, it's all about rates tomorrow. 30-year bond, down 25 ticks today. You're at 161, 161.05 and this baby is coming into its swing point with expanded volume. So you're at 161.05. There's 32 ticks inside a point, folks. That's saying you're only six ticks away from the swing low. We did 212,000 contracts. That swing low is 220,000 contracts. That's going to come into it more than like it's going to blow it away. Now, if that blows it away, what you'll get is this. You take the 160, you take the 169 at the top, you're going to be down at 150 uh, on the 30 year. You're down 150 on the 30 year, that 10 year is going to take that south. And what does that mean? Well, this is, here's some divergence for you. What that means, and this is a mind blow, okay? What that means is that rates are going up, okay? The market's bringing rates up no matter what yelling and the whole crowd does out here, okay? So absolutely wild. Uh, someone must have just come out with numbers because the uh, NDX um, had, uh, well, it was a, it shot up at the close, and now it just shot back down. It shot up from the, at the last uh, 10 minutes, we went from 44.41. We got back up to uh, 44.55. Now you're down to 44.50. Uh, lots of numbers uh, are going to be coming out out here. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. You stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming back with some numbers. Dow finished up 13. NASDAQ down 7. S&P's up 5.5. We're going to be right back.